<laughs> in this scene, after she flips over him, she flips over a table mm. while every single henchman is just firing round after round. Hundreds of, maybe not hundreds, dozens and dozens of rounds at her, all at this one table. And I was like, that table, that's a good fucking table. <laughs> Welcome back to the 154th episode of the Better Better Show. Watch several movies. I feel like you should too. I'm your host, Mr. Brian Shiller. I'm joined again. I'm like your host. I hate this movie, Brian. I fucking hate this movie so much. Kyle, how dare you? This movie was was bad. <laughs> this, 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 this is a bad movie. This is a bad movie. Uh, so we're just going to get right into it. Today we're talking about uh, 2017. I think 2017? 2015. 2015, there's a sequel in 2017, mm. oh boy. 2015's <laughs> Avengers Grin. The others are coming to stop you. Come in from the gold. So this is another mailbag episode. Somebody sent us this in. Uh, and I remembered looking at the cover and then uh, glancing through the concept for it, and I was like, this seems terrible. I want to watch it. not disappoint. I want to watch it. It's amazing. Um... I, I did. I, I will say that after a little bit of uh, research, I did discover that this is an asylum film. Oh, really? I did not realize initially. How, how much research did that take you? Well, it, like two seconds. Oh, yeah. We had already watched it at that point when I realized. It took the very first credit I oh, saw fair enough, for me to yes. realize it was an asylum movie. <laughs> yes, fair enough. I forgot that, yeah, in the credits it pops up. Um, but we had already shown to watch it. And, and I will say that not every asylum film is created equal in terms of like how ridiculous it is intentionally. What I mean is that not every asylum film is like intentionally bad. True. And I don't think this one Titanic is. Titanic 2 is a good example of yeah. one that was made with, I believe, earnest intent. 100 years later, the world's greatest ship. Most sophisticated ship ever created, the Titanic 2. Yeah, and I would actually say that I think the same for this movie, at least to some extent, while clearly capitalizing yes. off of. A couple things here. Uh, I, I maybe somebody was delusional in thinking that this was going to to pick up and be a big hit. Kyle, they made a sequel, so it was a big enough. Hit. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, because so Asylum does the thing, and and this is that for sure, where they they make movies that look similar to other movies, so that grandparents who don't know the difference sees a DVD store in the $5 bin at Walmart, <laughs> thinks they're buying their grandchildren the Avengers, and instead is buying them Avengers Grimm, which is not the Avengers. Although the no. plot is essentially identical, which we'll get yes, to. <laughs> it's... We'll get to. Aye, aye. Also, the, the director of this film, Jeremy Inman, uh, who was the writer and director of this, uh, also directed a film called Sinister Squad that is a complete ripoff of Suicide Squad, but with, like, um, fairy tales or something. It's, like, the same thing, except it's Suicide Squad, but, like, it's it was something... Hold on, I gotta look up and see what the... Because it was, like, the same exact thing where it was like oh we just take a popular comic book movie and then put a okay. twist on it he is grifting hard right <laughs> I don't now think he's under any illusions that that's not what's going on uh but yeah in sinister squad i just want to read the the, the the earth is under threat from a sinister supernatural cult known as De death's messengers with humanity facing its darkest day alice and the goldilocks must assemble an elite team of fairy tale villains to combat the threat goes by bluebeard has a set of blades that make him stronger every time he kills some the big bad wolf <laughs> my name's caramos 
cannibal witch. Gelda, queen of hearts. Unhinged, unpredictable, and something of a secret weapon. <laughs> That's incredible. That actually, I kind of want to watch that one. <laughs> That sounds amazing. Uh, it also has a two out of point one out of ten on IMDb. Um, so yeah, uh, th this is the Avengers, but with Grimm's fairy tales characters slash other characters, basically mash up um, Once Upon a Time that TV show mm -hmm. from like a, a while back with the Avengers. That's what this movie is trying for. Uh, what it ends up being is basically looks like a, a porn parody. Yes. Yes. <laughs> But wait, we, we can help each other. It looks like a porn parody with all oh of the porn my God. cut out is what yes. this movie is. Which just makes it boring. <laughs> yeah. Don't lecture me about war. Don't you understand? If we kill Rumpelstiltskin, all his thralls will be released. But the wolf will go free. <laughs> Basically what this is. Uh, uh, but this does have Casper Van Dien in it. Kill you. I need you. I'm here with a deal. Playing a fantastic... Well, so did Dracula 3000. It's a crucifix. I thought they'd been those 200 years ago, man. Yeah, but that didn't mean everybody gave it up. He probably felt like he needed God's help. Fair enough. But he wasn't playing Rumpelstiltskin in Dracula 3000. It's true. Oh, snow. Snow. Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> So we get into this movie and we're in, we're in the fairy tale world uh, and we're introduced. Uh, there's a, a queen running through the countryside, it's, which we will find out is Snow White eventually. And she just teleports from the countryside into her castle, which have you, you haven't seen everything everywhere all at once, have you? The movie came out a couple. You'd mentioned it. I'd I mentioned it. If you it. haven't seen it, this, the, the throne room in this movie mm -hmm. is one is of the main it? role like sets in wow. the end of everything everywhere all at once. I was like, holy shit, that's wild. That's nuts. Uh, and, which I'm sure it's been used in a lot of things because it's a very like unique, like all white, like marble room mm -hmm. or whatever. That's like a, yeah, like a throne room. So I, I get it, but it's, it was very surprising for me. Um, but we're in this throne room. And Snow White's like, oh no, the hordes are destroying my kingdom. I, who cares? It doesn't matter. But okay. Casper Van Dien shows up. Rumpelstiltskin, baby. Yes. And he wants to take over the world, but also mainly what he wants. He's attacking so that he can get to her magic mirror mirror on the wall, Kyle. So that he can use it to oh, trans... Oh, the, the magic mirror mirror on the wall that we got at a thrift store? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then added some very good effects to <laughs> Some very good uh, CG to um, But he wants to use this mirror because he somehow knows that Earth exists. Our universe. Yes. Earth exists. And he wants to go there because when he gets there, he will be all powerful because he's like of God. Ma he's Loki. Sure. He's Loki. We'll get to it. Um... It's amazing. This mirror can be used as a gateway to another world. A world without magic. A place where I could live like a god. She's Snow White. She's the queen of this, this fairy tale mm -hmm. realm. Um, she also has ice powers for some fucking reason. Because she's Snow White, Kyle. Snow, ice, get it? Dude, the powers of the people in this movie is my favorite stupid so thing ever. We'll get into dumb. all of them momentarily, but holy shit, it's hilarious. But she's like, he's like, let me in the portal or let me use the mirror. And she's like, uh, no, but then she he threatens to do something. I can't even remember what. Um, and she's like, fine, I'll let you in. And then she opens the mirror so he can go to Earth. But then as he's about to leave, she, she makes an icicle and is going to stab him with it, but fails and he pulls her through the mirror and they both end up... Mm. On Earth. No life is worth a kingdom. Um, and then we cut a few minutes later, seemingly a few minutes later, uh, all these other women run into the room, and we find out this is Cinderella. <laughs> Rapunzel. Rapunzel. And Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. And then ultimately, uh, also, Little Red Riding Hood shows up. They call her Red. But she is not, which there's so much lore in this movie that is not explored at all. No. They're all like royalty of some sort. Yes. You think your home was the only thing destroyed by this war? We have lost kingdoms. 
I was busy fighting thralls while you were marrying into the life of luxury. Royals, you brought this on yourselves. They, I don't know if they, they don't seem to be the daughters of Snow White, but they are like other somehow royalty. Whereas Little Red Riding Hood is a commoner. Is a commoner, yeah. I yeah. Don't, well, whatever. she's all, she's like you know my family was huntsmen and farmers. So right. They, Red Riding Hood has it. <laughs> commoner. And then they all got eaten by a wolf, and she, yep. she, that's actually her whole story, which we'll get to. Um, but so they're like, uh, all right, we want to go. Um, we need to go through this mirror to get find Snow White. She mm. must have gotten gone through the mirror or somebody tells her, I don't remember how they find out, but somebody they know that she went through the mirror with um with Rumpelstiltskin and they're all going to go through and try to get Snow White and bring her back and stop Rumpelstiltskin from doing his evil plan. And then we cut to Earth and we're in this alleyway and there's this co cops are like roughing up some 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 criminal low life and kind of setting up that the cops are corrupt and working for the mayor like yes. like like doing his like um, Dirty deeds, not, basically. I'm messing with you. I'm not gonna send you to the mayor's goon squad. <laughs> but, uh, his honor will be none too happy if he finds out you've been talking to her again. So not only that, uh, you also have, I mean, we, we completely skipped over the big bad wolf. Where was that, where was that scene? Was that, had that happened already? Yeah. Uh, he shows up. He's in the employ of uh, Rumpelstiltskin, yes. Mr. Casper Van Dien, and they break the mirror. Or they take they take a shard. Oh, that's of it or right. Something. You're right. Yes. Uh, well, anyways, that yeah, also while they're in the throne room, yes, Little and Red Riding Hood shows up. Yes, who I mentioned, but yeah. Little pig. Red. Step away from the mirror. She dies. He'll kill her either way. In addition to that, they also mention that time flows much faster in the human world. Yes. Time is swiftly on the other side. The longer we linger, the more time has gone by. Well, then we should hurry. And that becomes important because they all go through the mirror as it shatters. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, and one piece of the mirror goes through into Earth world. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it, well, it's, it, it's, it's embedded in Little Oh, that's right. right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> It's just in her arm yes. for like the whole like for, the, for the, five minutes. For the amount of injury she gets, she's just like, oh, well, that sucks. Yeah, she like she like forgets it's there, and eventually she's like, oh fuck, there's a giant shard of glass in my arm, and just pulls it out. It's kind of amazing. Uh, but now they they land in on on Earth. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, the wolf has come through Red Riding Hood, and then our three princesses, uh, as well as Snow White and, and Rumpelstiltskin, they land there. The the cops are doing the dirty work for the mayor. Uh, and then our, our princesses show up and like beat the cops up for I don't remember why the cops like try to like arrest them or something and they're like no That's it For me <sighs> You shouldn't have that uh, oh and then my favorite thing also their costumes their costumes in their fantasy, their fairy tale costumes, mm. all the costumes are terrible. Again, it, it, but the fairy tale costume versions literally just look like Johnny Brock Dungeon, like like Halloween yeah. costumes. They're they're truly it's... awful. Um, but my favorite part in this scene in the alleyway is they're like looking for Snow White, and they ask the cops, they're like, "Where's Snow White?" And they're like, "Oh, you're looking for Snow? She'll find you." Do you know where we can find Snow White? Snow. She finds you. And then as they're standing there, this red sports car comes yes. flying up the alley and skids to a stop. And the camera pushes in on Snow White it's and she goes, dumb. get in. Uh... <laughs> It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh. Um, but so now we're we're figuring out, as you mentioned, time runs a lot faster mm. or slower in whatever. However you want to time dilates to the point where Snow White and Rumpelstiltskin have been here for maybe years or something at this point, um, or at least weeks, if not months. How long has it been? Too long. The princesses had thought it had only been like a few minutes or like yes. an hour. Oh, also, Rumpelstiltskin just has fucking mind control powers for yes. fuck all reasons. Forget what you saw here. He has mind control powers. He's he has become the mayor. That's we yes. find out that the mayor they've mentioned is Rumpelstiltskin, and he he has mind control powers. I did I did look up requirements for running for mayor of uh, L.A. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> so, uh, two year residency. 
So yeah, it's at least been two years then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Although also he could have him break the rules by using mind control powers mm. or whatever. So who cares? It doesn't matter. So that they they ride off with um, Snow White. Then we cut to uh, Red Riding Hood, who is now on Earth, and she comes into this bar or something, and because she's like tracked the wolf there or mm. is there with them, and she gets there and all these people are dead. Yes, all of these guys are dead, and sh- and. Uh, the wolf has killed all these people, and she's trying very to kill quickly. the Very quickly. Yeah, very quickly. He showed up and immediately just murdered everybody in the vicinity. And I then guess. left. And yeah. then left, and is gone. Um, but this is that scene where she's like, oh, ow, there's a there's a giant shard of glass in My, there. that's inconvenient. Yeah. Uh, but then a gang of dudes show up, and they're like, hey, you killed all of our men. How dare you? And she fights all these guys, and the main guy <laughs> cracks me up. He looks so much... He looks he looks like the stunt man for Tim Rosen, aka Mutt from Shits Creek. Have you ever watched Shits Creek? I guess not. Damn it. The guy anybody who has seen Shits Creek or he's been in a, he's in like a million Canadian shows, this actor. Mm. Like sci- every sci-fi original that came out for like the last 10 years, this uh Tim Rosen has been like a main character in it. He's in Winona Earp. Uh he plays uh uh Doc Holiday in that. Uh, There was this one called Vagrant Queen that I watched that he was one of the main characters in. Uh, There's the most recent one, I think, is there's like paranormal like ghost hunter show that he's in. He plays the same character in all of them. Um, Or he plays like him, like the same kind of guy in all of them. Uh, And I like the actor, but he's also Mutt in Schitt's Creek. But the hair and the beard is like exactly the same as the guy, (laughs) that one uh, one henchman (laughs) in this movie, um, which I thought was amazing. But anyways... um, they uh, they're gonna take her. They want to take her to 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 Iron John. John, what is it? Iron John, I think yeah. is his name. Well then, you won't mind waiting around to explain it to Iron John. Which we'll, we'll who we'll meet later. Um, but she ends up beating all of them up and kind of getting away for now. Or maybe they do get her. I don't remember. Um, but then we cut away from there uh, back to Snow White. And uh, I, the, the actress playing Snow White is so terrible. We have to find Red and the mirror before the wolf leads her to Rumpelstiltskin. If that bastard gets his hands on it, he'll open the portal again and bring his army through. Like, there's not a lot of good acting in this movie, but of the acting <laughs> that is done in this film, hers is uh, rough. Yes. It's, r- it's it- all so serious. I'm not queen of anything anymore. We can worry about getting home after we take care of Rumpelstiltskin. We need to find Red before he does. It's so, like, intense. Yes. Every line she delivers is Ugh. like... And maybe that's... maybe You know what? I'll give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she knew the kind of movie this was and was leaning in, maybe. like, super It also hard. doesn't help that every single one of the, the, the queen, the royalty or whatever, yeah. uh, it just speaks and talks the exact same yeah are we too late this way come on there's nobody here oh no look it's the king oh dear lord they are just the same character they basically are and they're also not particular like other than rapunzel rapunzel's the only one who's like visually like identifiable as Rapunzel, like at least to me, like uh, Cinderella, like nothing about her screams Cinderella. Like uh, she's just a, a woman. <laughs> like mm-hmm. she's, just, she's got blue hair uh, or like purplish hair. And then uh, Sleeping Beauty is just a blonde girl. Like th- I, 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 I feel like because again Rapunzel has the hair, so it's yeah. easy to be like that's Rapunzel. But I feel like they needed to do something else to make them more clearly like because I had a hard time remembering. Wait, which one's Cinderella? Which one's Sleeping Beauty? Yeah. Except when they use their powers because their powers are so yes. stupid, and we'll get to it here in just a second. <laughs> I love it so much. But uh, then we were again we're, we're introduced to we got to introduce the assistant to to Mayor Rumpelstiltskin, which is Jessica. Jessica. I believe. Uh, okay, whenever they brought whenever they brought her like very first scene where she's like trying to get these cops yeah. into the office and whatnot, I was like, oh hey look, uh, has an assistant. I swear to God, if her name is fucking Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Because it's so generic. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Jessica was the placeholder name they put in the script, and then they just went with it because they're like, mm-hmm. all right, fine. Um, but she's uh she's like the mind controlled assistant who helps out uh, Casper Van Dien. She's like a thrall, but not like but the not. rest. 
rest of them. Yeah, but not as much as the rest of them. He has like layers of like how mind controlled you can be. You can be a little bit mind controlled where you're like still look normal and kind of act normal, but you do what he tells you. Head home for the evening. Forget what you saw here. And then there's like full on thrall where they get like the black eye makeup around their mm. eyes and they become like monsters, like zombies basically. It's very strange. Uh, Casper Andine's in his office wearing a suit that does not fit him. No. I was like, what? You're, come on, man. Get that shit tailored. You're in a, like somebody tailor that shit. It's like an off the rack and it's off the rack that doesn't fit him well. It's, it's, it's too big anyways. But uh, so he, the cops are there and they're, they're talking about how they, they ran into these, the princesses um, in that alleyway and they let him get away. And Casper and Neen's not happy about that. And he so he he Just, mind plays one of yes. them. <laughs> and and it and it does the thing where he gets like the black makeup around his eyes and he yeah, he turns into like a zombie uh, and he's like, take him to the cage with the rest of them or whatever. With, with the one other guy? Yeah, one other guy. <laughs> one other guy sitting in the cage. It's like, all right, but cool. Uh, but basically, again, we're just establishing that he's taking over the city and he's been using his mind controlled police force. As his like his muscle basically yes. to like kind of run you know the city. you know you know what would have been I don't know maybe a quick thing you could have done to show his rise to power in this mm. world is I don't know maybe it was a way of him accumulating quick amount of wealth there isn't anything to do with Rumpelstiltskin no. that involves something that we highly value in this world I don't know like spewing uh, was it Strola into gold. No, that's that's not the story of Rumpelstiltskin. The story of Rumpelstiltskin, Kyle, famously, is that he mind controls yeah, people. Yeah, he just mind fucks people. <laughs> famously. Now, to be fair, he does use his gold ability, like his his famous, infamous gold ability, one time in this movie, in my favorite way ever, which we'll get to in a little bit. But anyways, now, so Red has been captured by... Uh, uh, the the by Mutt from Shit's Creek, and he's taking her to see Iron John again because she has to answer because they think she killed mm -hmm. all their men, even though it was the wolf that killed all their men. And I mean, it was it was cool that we could get Casper Van Dien, but who else can we get who's like a C list celebrity at this point? C list? That's being generous. <laughs> Blue fucking Ferrigno. Blue, Blue Ferrigno. Who did it to you? Who is probably working at about 30% uh, hearing capacity right now. Oh, oh, is that? Oh, he's like 80% deaf. I did not like know that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's, yeah. Lou Ferrigno shows up playing Iron John, who is just like another one of the like crime lords, basically, mm. who like runs his own like band of. Uh, he, he's like a Hell's Angel motorcycle club rider kind of Seemingly guy. that kind of deal. Um, and they like run a bar or whatever, because uh, I think that's where all the people died earlier on. Um, but uh, they, they're they going to take Red to see him, but we don't, we're not introduced to him just yet. Because uh, meanwhile, we have to, um, <laughs> we have to, it's a very short scene, but they, the, the Snow White's talking to the princesses and she's like, all right, here's what we're going to do. We can worry about getting home after we take care of Rumpelstiltskin. We need to find Red before he does. Get but first, garden. you guys gotta blend in. <laughs> okay, first up, you need to blend in. So they change out of their fantasy clothes into equally ridiculous, like, ridiculous, yes. like normal clothes. They're just like leather pants, and like they all have, they all have like belts with like whole, like like big like uh bags what? saddle bags on the side for some reason that's very strange we completely we completely skip the uh the, the the montage the shopping montage that's that's the thing <laughs> Kyle that I was so when they said we got to get you guys some new clothes I was like oh yeah shopping montage time like well, a fun silly scene where they're mm. like trying on clothes and they don't because they're from a fantasy world where they wear like old timey clothes they don't get modern clothes so they're like trying to figure out how zippers work we don't get any of that. No, what are you doing? Come on. Come on. Come on. You need to blend in. Can you manage that? No problem. Um, but anyway, so then we're introduced to Lou Ferrigno's Iron John. Um, yes. Uh, and they're in this alleyway, and I love he's like, 
you killed our men. And she's like, I didn't do it. And then she just does a flip over his head. How are you going to do that? Like this. <laughs> In slow motion. Mm. And then starts choking the shit out of him. And I don't remember. He's able to get away. Well, yeah, because... He's Lou Ferrigno. The dude is built like a brick shit house. He's just like, and <laughs> and let just, go of me, please, yes. tiny person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am Lou Ferrigno. I am literally the Hulk. Um, but then I love this. You talked about in our last episode that that a, co a cocktail cart that taken in or with the, the bar or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Both. <laughs> this this uh, this alcohol bar, this little alcohol bar they have. The, the, yeah, the, the like a little cart or whatever. It is the the best reinforced. <laughs> You know, if you can yes. find that on Amazon, buy it. It is a worthy investment. Yeah, it will save up. you in a shootout for sure. <laughs> in this scene, after she flips over him, she flips over a table mm. while every single henchman is just firing round after round. Hundreds of, maybe not hundreds, dozens and dozens of rounds at her all at this one table. And I was like, that table, that's a good fucking table. <laughs> You guys got an impressive table, just eats all of those bullets. But then she pulls out a sweet stun arrow. <laughs> she has a stun, like a like a, like a, a flashbang flash arrow. Yeah, it's a flashbang arrow. And she shoots it into uh, Mutt's forehead, and then it goes off, and, and she runs away in the smoke and confusion. It's incredible. Then we cut back to Casper Van Dien, who is now meeting up with the wolf, who is going to help him track down uh, Red in the mirror, basically, because they he, Casper Van Dien wants the mirror so that he can summon, or the shard of the mirror. Apparently, mm. they can use the shard of the mirror. He can open a portal to summon all of the armies that he had in Fantasy World into Earth. Again, literally just the plot yes. of Avengers where it's Loki wants to open the portal and let all the people in, or all the whatchamacallits okay. in. Yeah, it's basically that. Oh, so the, the discount parademons? Yeah, they're, yes, exactly. They're yeah. Just, but they're just shirtless guys in cheap Ren Faire costumes. Yes. It's, <laughs> yes. It's, it's what he's letting in from the other universe. Surely nothing more horrifying than that, Yes, Kyle. I know parademons are DC comics. Yeah, they're not, what are they? Nerds. I know what you're talking about. They're the fucking... I can't remember what they are in the first <laughs> Avengers. It's been so long since I've seen that one. But anyways, um, also the guy who plays Wolf definitely was going for that uh, that Dave Bautista yes. character arc because he was a UFC fighter. Really? That's I mean, great. Bautista was a wrestler, but yeah, this guy was a UFC fighter for like a long time and then was like, saw Dave Bautista in Guardians and was like, I'll I just, should do yeah, that. I should copy that. <laughs> I'll just do that. Yeah. He's actually kind of a similar looking guy. Mm. Like he has like a, the same kind of like a head shape. He's a very <laughs> round head kind of deal. Um, anyways, he reminded me of, of Dave Bautista but without any of the charisma. Brave little pig. Red. Step away from the mirror, she dies. He'll kill her either way. <laughs> and then, well, I gotta talk about now is the time to talk about the powers of the princesses, oh Kyle. So, and my favorite, because it's the stupidest fucking thing ever. Is and I love that they just did it. What? Cinderella's? No, or, Cinder well, they're all Sleeping stupid. Beauties? Um, no, Rapunzel's is my favorite Rapunzel's? because of how oh, yeah. stupid it looks. It's just hair. <laughs> It's her hair, and then they have a giant metal ball, ball tied yeah. to the end and of it's, it. It's the, uh, I forget what the what that weapon is, yeah. the Chinese weapon. Yeah, so, yeah. Ball at the end of a ribbon. Where she flings around a ball tied to her hair. But I love that she uses it to, like, in, like, the most comedic hijinks ways. There's literally a scene where she pulls it across a doorway, and somebody runs into her hair and, and gets close. <laughs> like, it's so stupid. Clear it! But yeah, so that's Rapunzel. At least makes sense, yes. right? You're like, sure, your hair. Sleeping Beauty just puts people to sleep. Nighty night. That why? How does that even make sense? Sleeping Beauty, she, she's the one that got put yes. to sleep. Why does she have sleep and it's powers? Not, this the the freaking spindle has the sleep powers. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But she she can now she she has the ability to just woof wave and put people to sleep. And then fucking Cinderella has has the reality stone. <laughs> I 
it would seem because yes. she can just like reform I'm, matter. Yeah, I thought the god, the fairy godmother, was the one who was changing shit. Yeah, again, she just absorbs the fairy mm -hmm. godmother's powers. And then, and of course, as we mentioned earlier, Snow White just has ice powers for some fucking reason. She has ice powers because Snow. Her name is Snow White. So sure, what? Well, okay, great. And maybe there is some like in the older like Grimm's. I don't know. I have no idea. My guess is probably not. No. Um, I'll have to ask Katie and, 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 and undo a little insert here about whether any of these powers make any sense for, for these characters, because Katie would know. Put him out! Oh. Ah. Ah. Anyways, I love it. Uh, yeah, Cinderella can just straight up transform matter. Oh, and, and uh, Little Red Riding Hood's powers is just being Aragorn. Yeah, she's an archer and a swordsman. <laughs> sure, why not? Also, am I crazy, Kyle? This whole movie, I was expecting... Uh, did you notice this? Cinderella and Little Red Riding Hood. They were, like, into each other, right? I... Red, wait. We... We can help each other. You may not think she's worth anything, but I am not giving up on her yet. And my husband... He still lives, but he's one of his thralls. Sure. I think there's there was so many scenes in this movie where I kept thinking we were gonna get to the end of the movie and they were gonna like embrace and be like, oh, we're back together and I love you or something. And it never happens, but there's so many scenes in this movie where I was like, there's something going on. <laughs> Brian, do we need to talk about your, like, <laughs> Grimm's brother, whatever? My Grimm's your, fanfic that yes, they, they, they exactly. found and copied? You're right, we do need to talk about it, because you'll be getting a call from my lawyer asylum. <laughs> that that journal oh. was private? <laughs> you clearly broke into my house and stole it. Yeah. Uh, no, that, I, I don't know. I'll put in the clips. Yeah. You audience, let me know. I don't feel like I was reading too much into it. I feel like it was there and for some reason was cut at the end. Uh, again, the uh, the overacting in this movie. He probably has stockpiles like this set up all over the city. We're gonna have to give up searching for Red. The time's up. If Rumpelstiltskin has the mirror, why hasn't he attacked yet? Because he doesn't have it. I, can't, I couldn't get enough of just how ridiculous mm -hmm. everybody is so serious which, which all the time. more goes to my point there. It's not that I think stuff like that couldn't be in this movie. I just think the writer is too fucking lazy to actually do it. Red does. Her. Again, you may not think she's worth anything, but I am not giving up on her yet. No life is worth a kingdom. And if she has the mirror, what is her life worth then? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was there, and I think it got cut for some reason. Like, the, the payoff for it got cut. Because there's just the setup. Mm, wait, you be the judge. Uh, and also, I will say that the actress, so most of the people in this movie are not good. Casper Van Dien, Casper Van Dien doing a ridiculous villain. He's fine. I will leave this squalid little pile of cobblestone you call a kingdom if you do something for me. Yeah. All of the Snow White and the other princesses are all terrible, relatively speaking. Um, R Little Red Riding Hood, I thought, was actually pretty good. I didn't kill your men. And I didn't kill you when I had the chance. Oops. I think she actually her performance is fairly good. Mm. It's a, it's we're we're playing on a curve here <laughs> against the rest of the the people yes. she's in the film yes. with. But I was actually like, yes, he's actually pretty good. If he has an army, why the hell doesn't he use it? Because he's employing strategy, unlike some. If we attack him with an army, it might trigger. And it was funny because she's the only actress that doesn't have a headshot on IMDb and has been in like nothing else. So it's like, oh, she's the, right. the most talented one. It's like not really even an actor. Probably working as a sales rep somewhere. Yeah, something like that. I, uh, the other thing I did look up and found that I thought was fun is that the actress who plays Cinderella was in Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. 
as a very small part, she plays robot courtesan in both oh, of those okay. films. But it's a recurring role. It's in one there and we go. two. There we go. She's Boom. like like a full makeup, like uh, yellow and blue. Uh, you'll see making that Marvel money. Yeah. So then. They break. They need to go get. They know that red. They need to get red because she has the mirror or knows where the mirror mm -hmm. is. And they know that she. I don't remember how they figured this oh out. They know she yes. is in prison. We still don't even know where she is. Let's ask him. Yeah, she got arrested along with she's in John, the den. right? Like Iron, John, Iron John, yeah, yeah. Okay, and they they they're in prison, and you're like. Oh wow! They need to do this crazy prison, prison break. break stuff. It's gonna be. Uh, it must be very difficult to get. <laughs> Red Riding Hood just walks out. Like it's straight. It's it's straight out of fucking what is it? Screen Rant. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> yeah, barely an inconvenience. She just walks out. She yes. literally just. I don't even know. She had a key. Yeah. She, she snuck a key into her mouth. Yeah, like, and then they're able to get out, and then she taunts Iron John with it and doesn't give it to him, and then just walks out and leaves. Um, but they're they're breaking in around the same time that she's leaving. Uh, and I love all the alarms start going off, and then we get this super dramatic camera push in on Snow White, mm -hmm. and somebody's like, "What's happening?" And the camera's like, and she goes, "SWAT." What's happening? SWAT. <laughs> God. So stupid. I love it. Every one of her like dramatic big stinger lines is one of my favorite moments in the film. And then again, we get a bunch of amazing scenes of Rapunzel just beating people up with her hair because it's <laughs> why not? It's yep. incredible. Why not? And also, which obviously even the Avengers have this kind of like power disparity thing, but it's like she hits people with hair. <laughs> Cinderella bends space, time, and matter to her will. <laughs> It's yes. like, what, yes. what are our two different, like... Yes. <laughs> you have the Hulk smash, and then uh, Hawkeye is like, all right, I'm, out, shoot, I'm out of arrows. I shoot a thing with a bow. Yep. Doctor Strange, I bend reality around my will. I got a bow and arrow. Yeah, it's it's that exact thing. It's so silly. Um, I'll go sit in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the... Oh, shit. Meanwhile, so they, they do meet back up with Red mm. in the in the thing. They have a, like a reunion scene for a second, and then they get the heck out of there and go hide. They're gonna go hide out at Snow White's like underground base that she has or whatever. Meanwhile, Casper Van Dien breaks in or doesn't break in. He just strolls into the den after all this chaos has happened. Iron John is still locked in his cell, and this is where he recruits Iron John. Yes, to become. Gold John. They never call him that, but they should. Uh, I don't know why they don't call him. Or maybe they do. I don't remember. Is he Steel John? He isn't gold. He's like silver. I think he's supposed to be gold because that's the whole thing with Rumpelstiltskin. It's that he can maybe, turn stuff into gold. I don't know. He, I sure. think that's what it's supposed to be. So you, you tell us if he looks like he's made out of I, silver. I don't or... disagree that the color is not ideal, but it looks a little gold. I don't know. Anyways, okay. um, but he, he makes a deal with him and he pulls his glove off so he can shake his hand. And when he shakes his hand for the deal... He, uh, he, he like, turns him into metal, and, like, we get one terrible CG shot of the, the liquid metal, like, bubbling up his arm. <laughs> the Matrix did that so long ago, mm -hmm. and it looked so good. You had two seconds, and it looks like I did it in 30 well, seconds on my not computer. Just, not even just the Matrix. Uh... Terminator 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, tons of movies have done it. I'm just talking about, like, yeah, exactly. And But they could not even get anything that looked remotely good. Um, and it's just like, oh, yeah. But anyway, so they mm. turn uh, Iron John, I think, into gold, but maybe steel. Okay. He's in a giant metal. He's a giant metal man now. Yes. <laughs> and he stomps around everywhere and makes big metal noises anytime God. he does anything. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I was like, I can't wait to see uh, when he was doing this, and I knew what was going to happen. I, was like, I can't wait to see Lou Ferrigno with his face painted gold, <laughs> and we get to see it. It's kind of amazing. He loses all of his hair. Yeah, he, had to, he shaved his head for this role, man. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <Yeah. laughs> Maybe they've got a bald cap on him. Who knows? But yeah, it does look like he shaved his head. Oh God. 
So then uh, they, they're hanging out. I think this is the moment where they're in like Snow White's, uh, they're regrouping in Snow White's hideout or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they're talking about their, their next plan of attack. And Red Riding Hood's there and she's talking to Cinderella. And we get this amazing line. We are not heroes. We're Avengers. I fucking love it, dude. I love it so much. Uh, then we do get Lou Frigno in his paint. He looks incredible. Looks amazing. Uh, halfway through this, I stopped giving a shit about this movie. I could tell already, Kyle. Your energy level I is just, low for this I episode. Did not, I did not give a <laughs> fuck about this movie. <laughs> oh, my God. Looks like somebody made a deal. Take her down! Basically, uh, Rapunzel's like, I'll hold them off. Yeah. It might be the prison. I, I Whatever. They're leaving somewhere, and Rapunzel's like, I'll hold them off. And I'm getting, I'm like, you're the worst option. You're the the least mm-hmm. good one. You let Cinderella do it. She can literally just turn the building into a, a cucumber or whatever. Like, what the fuck? I, I, whatever. But uh, she fights, and she's going to hold them all off. Uh, and I love there's this great scene where Lou Ferrigno bursts through the door. <laughs> Great CG of the door coming down. But then somebody is shoot. Oh, they mind. Uh, she mind. Uh, Cinderella or no Sleeping Beauty. Somebody mind controls the guy with the gun. Yes. Mutt with the gun and walks him in and tells him to shoot Lou Ferrigno. Ready. Aim. Fire. He just blasts him a few times and lose like. And the bullets are, are just you, bouncing off. What are you doing? It's incredible. I love it so much. And Lou Ferrigno's acting, he's like, ah, ah. (laughs) So they're on the roof running and the wolf is fighting Little Red Riding Hood at this point. And Cinderella's trying to help her, but she hit her hip on the railing and it hurts real bad. So she's just kind of like laying on the ground, not doing anything. Uh, and the wolf is able to get away by jumping off the roof, and the the shot of him landing is so it's terrible. So, yes, it's so it's bad. Ridiculous. It looks amazing. <laughs> yes, it looks amazing. <laughs> oh. Um, but then at this point, they now regroup at Snow White's hideout. They're gonna no, no. Well, there's a uh, little red riding hood goes after the wolf. Oh yeah, and. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yes. Uh, you can slow this down and get a nice uh, uh, still shot of uh, this like clearly six foot guy in R- Little Red Riding Hood's outfit. Is it a guy? It's absolutely. Oh, okay. Because I saw this in the fight later between mm. her and Cinderella. You can see that it's clearly a stunt double. But it looked like a woman. But anyway, who knows? This, this, this one, one I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a guy. It wouldn't surprise me if they had a different stunt double on each day because they could only get you know yeah. <laughs> a different person for whatever uh, day they were. It was like just jumping over the railing, and then they do the shitty CG again. Yeah, and it's back the to the CG superhero yeah. landing. It's incredible. <laughs> but anyway, so then they they they, they escape down to uh, uh, Snow White's hideout. Um, Cinderella wants to go rescue Rapunzel because she got grabbed by uh, Lou Ferrigno and them. Um, but Snow White's like, no, she, she knew what she was doing. We got to stop. We got to kill Rumpelstiltskin. Rapunzel? She could be dead for all we know. But thanks to her, we have the mirror. That's not good enough. You don't get to decide. She's got to fucking die. What a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then meanwhile, they're going to leave Sleeping Beauty behind mm. with the mirror shard because her powers aren't as refined as the rest of them or something. Who knows? Doesn't matter. You're staying here to keep the fragment safe. <sighs> here? Alone? Then they end up breaking. They go and they find the assistant, Jessica. Yes. And Cinderella uses her. She also has mind powers, powers or, or something. something. Who knows? Yeah. She's able to like clear the cleanse the mind control from jessica and jessica offers to help him she's like oh yeah i oh wow i didn't realize i was helping um rumpelstiltskin i'll help you guys out you looking for your friend (laughs) 
they get into the building to save Rapunzel. Oh my God, Kyle this is so this fucking ridiculous. Fucking you talk, you talk about uh, Lou Ferrigno. Yes, yep. So Lou Ferrigno spots them or or sees down them a or hallway. He's charging after them, <laughs> and straight out of fucking Looney Tunes. It's amazing. I I guess uh, they they give him uh, some sort of banana peel or something to slip on. Well, she, she uh, Snow White freezes the floor. Freezes the floor, she right. She uses right. her ice powers to create an ice patch on the floor. And then Lou Ferrigno slips and makes a Lou Ferrigno size hole in the wall and flies out the penthouse. And we get a shot from outside of a terrible, like, little CG Lou Ferrigno flying <laughs> out of the 20th story. <laughs> Of this building and I laughed a lot. Why does this fucking movie exist? That's incredible because it's amazing. That's why. Uh, meanwhile, Sleeping Beauty thinks she can use the mirror shard to summon her father's armies to help them. So she tries to do that and the mirror like explodes and like knocks her unconscious. I don't, it doesn't matter. It's whatever. <laughs> And then meanwhile, Red now had been captured by the wolf. Like she chased him and, or Rumpelstiltskin, it's in a scene that we did not see. Yes. She has been mind controlled and she shows up and she steals the mirror basically, right? Mm -hmm. For poor Rumpelstiltskin. She's able to, she's able to come in and steals the mirror um, uh, from Rumpelstiltskin or no, from... Whoever had it, Sleeping I don't remember who had it. Yeah, I think Sleeping Beauty. Or yeah, because she was laying on the ground Yeah, after she got knocked out, and she gets it from there. Meanwhile, Jessica, the assistant, is going to like pretend to still be mind-controlled and double-cross Rumpelstiltskin and get the security down for the building or something. Uh, but but fucking Rumpelstiltskin immediately figures out that she's mm. faking and just kills her, like, oh, immediately. Okay. Jessica... <laughs> What'd you do that for? Don't question me. And then he he gets, so now he has the mirror shard because he got it from Red Riding Hood, gave him the mirror shard. She got it back because uh, she's mind controlled. And he uses it to open a portal in some parking garage, <laughs> in the bottom of a yes. parking garage. Well, okay. And his his soldiers start running out of this portal and he leaves Lou Ferrigno there to guard it. He's like, protect this portal with your life while my 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 hordes of unwashed Ren Fair attendees come pouring <laughs> through. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, and they're coming running through to fight everybody. And now chaos has broken out on the streets. And we get a sick ass slow mo team superhero oh walk my down. God. The The only thing we were missing Kyle. was the 360 oh, degree yeah. shot. Oh, yeah. Which we do get when they're having a conversation. We get, like, the Michael Bay spinny conversation cam, but we don't get the Avengers Assemble shot, nope. which was disappointing. Which I don't know how you mess up not having that shot in, because it's not that hard to do. Um, but we do get, yeah. So now um, Mutt and Lou Ferrigno are, like, feeling they're kind of grown to conscious and they're like maybe we shouldn't let all these people from the fairy tale universe through to destroy our world this feels like a bad idea you sure about this i mean i've never been called a saint but this seems wrong and then we cut to a shot of casper van Dien watching the chaos and he just goes it has begun it has begun do it <laughs> it's like palpatine-esque it's incredible i love it so much <laughs> pretty great shot uh, i say great it's whatever of of our superheroes walking down the street beating a bunch of people up and one of the guys that comes to attack like the last i think it's rapunzel or somebody attacks a guy who literally just has like a wooden sword his weapon is a wooden so I was like, what was your plan with that, bud? You just gonna okay. Literally you did come from a Ren Fair, apparently. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like what is going on? Uh, Chaos is everywhere, people are getting into fights left and right. Meanwhile, uh, Red, who is mind controlled, Cinderella sees her and is like, 
oh no well cause they shoot Red shoots an arrow at her and somebody mm. va- like I think Cinderella vaporizes the arrow before it hits one of our other characters uh, but then she chases Cinderella or Red Riding Hood off to the canals where oh they filmed God. Grease Kyle why? I know I know it's why in the fu- every single time we need a fight or some sort of action so it's just like fuck it we're in the TMZ let's just use the fucking LA River yep and, and just they just uh, teleport there like mm-hmm. they're just in the middle of a street somewhere, and then the next moment they're just in yeah the river, just standing in the. How like, what's happening? I, I wish there was a supercut of all the movies that have used the L.A. River. Then, so then we get a big fight between them, and this is the one where I noticed that the stunt actor for Little Red Riding Hood, again, I thought it was a woman, but clearly like a foot taller than the actress, because we get, anytime it's the, the two actresses fighting, Cinderella is like yes. taller than Red Riding Hood, but anytime it's the stunt people fighting, Red Riding Hood is taller than yeah. Cinderella. <laughs> and Cinderella's wig on the stunt person does not fit on their head. It's oh so God. bad. It's amazing. This will this will look good in post, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. yeah, we'll cut around it. <laughs> we'll cut around it, I'm sure. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty knocks out an entire lobby full of police officers. She's now like regained consciousness and has gone Super Saiyan, and her, her sleep powers <laughs> are are uber maxed out Don't or something. Sleep. Yeah, she sleeps an entire she, she whatever. Up, upgraded from sleep to a deep slumber. Mm-hmm. For you D nerds out there. <laughs> there, there you go. Absolutely. Uh, two magic. Later. Two magic. Two magic. Thanks. Does it have okay. a wall of power around it? Oh, then no, you don't have a battle arena. Then we get a big standoff between um, little because they're breaking in to get to Rumpelstiltskin, and then they finally get in, and, and Snow White and Rumpelstiltskin have this big standoff in his like office after they see Jessica's body on the floor. And the shot, I love it so much. This very dramatic slow mo shot of Snow White running at him, making the most ridiculous face. Like she's like gonna fucking kill you <laughs> and then she just gets blasted by the mirror get wrecked <laughs> and meanwhile uh, down at the portal uh rapunzel has talked some sense into Lou Ferrigno and it's like, look, man, you can help. You can make a difference. You don't have to let him destroy your world. You're actually a good guy. You always have a choice. It's not too late. It ain't for me. What do you think's gonna happen now, John, huh? And he's like, you're right. Get everybody else out of here. And then he just starts punching, punching the wall, the, baby. These, these uh, support pillars. Yeah. And while he's doing that, I love it, cuts to Rapunzel and she's dragging a uh, mutt... <laughs> shit away and she's doing it by wrapping her hair around him and dragging him. it's so stupid so i love it so much oh my god but anyway so he he punches the portal shut it all collapses on on lou ferrigno the portal's shut now but we still have to deal with casper van Dien. yes <laughs> And Snow White, she got knocked out, uh, and then she falls over so that, uh, and Rumpelstiltskin falls on her so they can have a fun, sexy, close-up talk conversation where they almost kiss for no reason. Oh, my God. You're afraid they're coming for you. Mm-hmm. I have the leverage. It, it goes nowhere. It means nothing, yep. but it's just, of course, uh, everybody else kind of shows up, right? Yes. Uh, everybody's back up. Uh, Red shows back up with Cinderella, and we're a little worried at first. Like, Cinderella, she's like dragging Cinderella's body, and she like leaves it on the ground, and you and it's far enough away that you can't tell if, like, you're like, oh no, Red defeated Cinderella, but it's all a ruse, Kyle, because Cinderella is alive, and she opens her eyes, and Red isn't mind controlled anymore. Some Cinderella, you know, saved her or whatever. Um, 
and she like transforms the mirror shard that Red Riding Hood has. It's actually her sword. She reveals it's her sword and Red Riding Hood stabs the wolf who is there at this point mm. right in the stomach. And I love... All a, the better to kill you Yeah. With. You have the mirror. All the better to kill you with. Which is not a worst, the worst line in the world. He, he goes, you have the mirror. And she says, all the better to kill you with. But then... She, she says that before she stabs him, then she stabs him, and then she gets another one-liner and says, Down, boy. Which is, just pick one. Don't yes. do both of them. Just pick, just pick one and do it. Oh, it's too many one-liners. Whatever. Portal's closed. No more thralls, for now. He has no white. We have to go now. But then we get <laughs> incredible ending uh, to, to Casper Van Dien's storyline. Uh, we get the live free or die hard I, ending, Kyle. Yes, it's incredible. Which would be good if if Rumpelstiltskin had the ice shard. Take the deal. No more deal. <laughs> What do you mean? Well, uh, Bruce Willis' right. character doesn't yes. have he the doesn't gun. He doesn't have the gun. Right, yes. No, I know. Yeah, exactly. So he is holding Snow White, who's like kind of half semi-conscious at this point. He's holding her, and he's like threatening her with a knife or whatever. Or no, the shard of the mirror. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to go through the portal, or, I or you guys go. No, here's the deal. You all go through the portal. He's talking to all the princesses at this point. You go through the portal, and I'll let you, I'll let you guys leave. Just leave me here to, 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 to run Earth or whatever. Leave! Go now, and I will let her live. And Snow White, you hear her create a snow, an icicle. And like you said, it would make more sense if he was holding it, but he's, she's, he's not. She's mm -hmm. just holding it, and she stabs through her own abdomen. And apparently this icicle is long enough and powerful enough. It goes through her abdomen and through yes. Casper Van Dien and fucking stabs him <laughs> and kills him. But not really kills him. Um, because he gets up still, like he's not mm. dead because then he wants to go back through the portal and he like tries to run through the portal, but Rapunzel lasts him with, with her, her hair. hair. Miss. <laughs> Don't let him escape. Uh -oh. I got him. Red snap out of it. <laughs> and he's trying to pull him out. And then while he's there, they don't know what to do. He's like getting away and Snow Sleeping Beauty just like, I got an idea, smash, and just crushes the shard of the mirror, which vaporizes the portal and Casper Van Dien turns into a skeleton and dies. It's amazing. <laughs> But now, oh, they're stuck on Earth because she destroyed the mirror shard. Mm -hmm. But they all agree that was a good plan. Uh, and then we get to watch Snow White die. And as she dies, a terrible frost effect, CG effect, comes out of her mouth and, like, covers her hair and stuff. It's so stupid. <sighs> But anyways, then the cop, one of the cops from her, the very beginning shows up and it's like, don't worry, leave your dead queen with me. I'll take care of her. And they're like, all right, we're out yep. of here. Bye. And they all just leave. Snow White saw something in this world, something worth protecting. We'll keep looking for a way home. Until we find one, Earth is stuck with us. Uh, and then we cut to a dark room where the police officer has left Snow White's body on a on a gurney, like you know, in the mm, in the morgue, morgue or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and she's all frozen over, and the camera pushes in on her face. And they can't even get this moment right, Kyle, which is the most cliche, obvious ending where she gasps back to life before we cut to black. She twitches before the big gasp. You see her eyes like move and then she like <gasps> does the moment yeah. 
and it's like, but that ruins the. It, it completely undercuts the ending. Oh, so yeah, can, yeah, she sacrificed herself to save Earth, but mm. she's just alive because, of course, she is. It's so fucking stupid. But ah, uh, there's a fucking sequel, Kyle. I there's a fucking uh, I sequel, uh, Kyle. I will say this: uh, I know you did not enjoy this movie. I will agree that it is not a good movie, but it is once again. I was impressed, similar to last week. Maybe not as much, but mm. similar last week, this movie was much more competent than I expected it to be, which is part of the reason mm. it's kind of boring is <laughs> because it's not it's not quite inept enough. Uh, I, th I think what kills me is just basically taking established IP of some degree, even if it's like 300 years old or whatever, and just being like, here's here's a nostalgia bukkake and there you I, go. I enjoyed it. I <laughs> I, felt, I felt like at least with the Gary Daniels film, like that was at least originally written. Yeah, I mean, sure. It's also just the most cliche it like is. revenge storyline ever told. But yeah, I fair enough. I uh, th but this one is also is literally just the Avengers, but with different characters and worse. So yeah, <laughs> like you know, yeah, it is what it is. That being said, I enjoyed it. I will say that it's bad, bad. I it's I <laughs> it's it's bad, bad. Yes. Uh, but. I actually don't know if I wouldn't recommend watching it. I, cause it, I don't know, man. Maybe I just had a soft spot for this shit. Like this. Maybe I, don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I would it. prepare yourself for your brain to fucking melt for the first like seven minutes as we're trying to establish like who all these anything. people are and what the fuck is going on. Yes. Yeah. And then after that, maybe you can kind of enjoy the ride. I, I agree. I, I think you can enjoy the ride because I think this is it. Uh, I what it's bad whatever <laughs> it's, it's, it's fucking bad it's, I don't know what I'm it's bad Kyle let's gonna do it for this episode as always you can do us a giant favor by I'm just having a stroke oh god sorry to say <laughs> as always you can do us a giant favor by heading over to patreon.com slash uh, uh, GB or BB and support us there for a couple bucks and get bucks and get access to different things at different levels. Uh, you can also go to tpublic.com and search for good, bad, or bad, bad. And we do sport. Oh my god, the original OG shirt uh, that I made with uh, I think Photoshop. this is a frame from you. You photoshopped over a frame from our fateful findings review. Yes, I believe is what my this god, is. your hair looks terrible in that. That that uh, I, I suck at drawing. You, you literally just drew over a. Th I, I mean, know. yeah, you're not you're not an artist, Kyle. It's fine. I mean, well, not this kind of artist. I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're ending every review for now, on Kyle. <laughs> Kyle in dismay. <laughs> no. um, but anyways, yeah, uh, T Bubble, you can support us there and get merch and all this sort of stuff. Uh, you can also do me a favor by heading over to uh, any of your podcast platforms and look out for this film is lit, a podcast that I host where we talk about movies that are based on books and the episode that will be out most recently when this is out. Fucking Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh baby. my god! You want to hear myself and Katie discuss uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, both the book and the film, how they compare, uh, and uh, probably laugh a lot because I, Kyle, I have read the first like hundred pages. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I have read like the first hundred pages of that book. It is fucking terrible. <laughs> it is. I. It is so the, the right the. I can't even fathom that somebody wrote how, that and then no editors and then an editor looked at it and a, somebody much published worse it. worse is it than Twilight? Oh, it's so much worse. Twilight <laughs> is like a masterpiece in comparison. <laughs> it's insanity. It's it's some of the most poorly. Oh, it's just it's it's written so terribly. Mm. My favorite thing and I, not, this is, you get a little sneak preview of some of the stuff we'll be discussing is every character description in that book. The way she writes it is just a character shows up for the first time, and then she says the author writes a, a, a string of, like, six adjectives in a row. She's like, and then a tall, handsome, um, <laughs> brooding, intelligent, sexy man walked into her. <laughs> like, every character description is just, God. like, eight adjectives in a row in, like, list form. It's... The oh my god! Okay, that, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's like I, I was reading. It, I was like, it looks it sounds like something I would have written in high mm. school. It's truly terrible. Anyways, um, that's out now. You can go listen to that, uh, or it should be out now, or around this time. Uh, also, you can watch this on Twitch, Twitch.tv. Uh, yes. the, the things on the screen. Kyle uh, streams did, fairly uh, often. What did I do last? Skyrim. I did Skyrim. Ooh, last. playing a little yep. Skyrim. 
Look at that. Little ten, uh, ten year anniversary edition of Skyrim. Wow. Because, and and you know, it, Bethesda come out with Elder Scrolls Six already. God. We saw that one teaser like mm-hmm. three years ago. And it's then supposed then... to take place in Hammerfell, or I believe that's correct. Yes, I don't know. So we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of Red Guards and a lot of Bretons. Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you go to Twitch and you can watch us there or uh, occasionally stream on those things. Uh, and I believe that is everything. Until next time, keep watching movies. Just not. It's on Tubi not if you Grimm. want. Avengers Grimm, the sequel it's, is also on Tubi. It's there. I say you should. No, <laughs> shh, shh, shh. no don't tell Kyle. Nobody tell Kyle. I'm telling you right now. He can't hear me. He, he can't hear any sound that's below six decibels. He's completely deaf to anything below six decibels. So right now, people know that's not true because of how people, low we people fucking edit our audio people sometimes. At home are the only people that can hear me. Go watch Avengers Grimm and don't tell Kyle. What, what was Anyways, that, Anyways, Kyle, uh, that's the end of this episode. Bye! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>